Growing up in the 80s, Saturday mornings were the time for the greatest cartoons ever created. Stuff like He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Dino Riders, Thundercats, and one of the finest cartoons was the Transformers. It was Autobots versus the Decepticons, and Optimus Prime was one of the coolest ones. Transforming from a truck to the badass Autobot leader, there was almost no topping Prime. Optimus Prime and the Transformers began as the 1980 Japanese toy line Diaclone. A collection of nameless robots able to transform into everyday cars, trucks, planes and weapons. The series of toys were created by Ono Kojin and created by Takara Toys as an extension for their Microman toy line. After using the Microman toy line to create the very successful G.I. Joe line, Hasbro saw the potential of the Diaclone toys and partnered with Takara to rebrand the toy line as the Transformers. For the character names and bios, Hasbro worked with Marvel Comics writers Jim Shooter and Dennis O'Neill to create the characters and their names, and Bob Bedansky to create the backstory. O'Neill is credited with giving Prime his actual name. While the Marvel comic book storyline gave a backstory on how the Transformers found their way to Earth after the war on Cybertron with the Decepticons, Optimus was just known as the brave Autobot leader. That was until Season 2 of the Transformers animated series gave him an origin. In this origin, Optimus Prime began as a robot named Orion Pax. I'm Orion, Orion Pax! a weak and small dock worker that before the Battle of the Cybertron idolized a new breed of robots that could fly, known only as the Decepticons. He believed that he was doing a good deed working alongside Megatron, until Megatron, the leader of the Decepticons, and his forces attacked Orion in order to steal Energon. Badly wounded, Orion Pax was taken to the ancient Autobot Alpha Trion, who used him as the first subject for the new reconstruction process, a process that is very akin to the Super Soldier Serum from Captain America. This reconstruction process rebuilt the frail Autobot into a more battle-hardened configuration. With his new body, Orion Pax became Optimus Prime, the first of the Autobot warriors. With his new courageous and confident personality, Optimus Prime took the mantle as the leader of the Autobots. The first two seasons of the Transformers was all about the battle between the Autobots and the Decepticons, but as the show continued, sales for the toys dwindled. Believing that Optimus Prime's popularity was falling, Hasbro funded an animated movie with Marvel and Sumbro, which would introduce all new Transformers and would see the death of Optimus Prime. The character of Optimus was created primarily to sell toys, but what Hasbro didn't realize that for fans, Optimus Prime had become a symbol for bravery, a loyal leader who strived for peace amongst the world. He not only inspired his Autobots, but he also inspired a generation of children. Killing him off was seen as a betrayal against the fans of the series. One shall stand, one shall fall. The studio received endless hate mail and death threats from fans and parents. The backlash resulted in a quick return of the character at the end of the following season. I've done it. Optimus Prime lives. Our leader is back. Yes, Skylinks. And now no force in the universe will stop me. But the fans didn't return to the series and the show was cancelled three episodes later. Optimus Prime has seen many forms over the years, from countless animated TV shows to live action movies and action figures. However, while his look might differ from year to year, his basic outline has always remained the same. The brave, battle-hardened leader of the Autobots remains the most loved and iconic character from the Transformers universe. <laughs>